A very good morning to all. Today we are going to start a new chapter. The name of the chapter is Parts of a Plant. So in the last class we learned about plants around us and we learned that there are big plants and small plants and we all know plants are living things. Plants need air, water and food to live. So today we are going to see the different parts of a plant. A plant has six parts that is the root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit and seed. So a plant has how many parts? A plant has six parts that is the root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit and seed. The first three parts that is the root, stem and the leaf. It helps the plant to get water to grow and to make food and the other three parts that is the flower fruit and the seed it grows into a new plant so let's discuss each part of the plant one by one so the first part it is the root a plant has many roots and the roots grow below the soil that is it is inside the soil so can you say what is the function of a root? The root brings water and nutrients from the soil. It sucks all the water and nutrients necessary for the plant from the soil. So a plant has many roots and the roots are inside the soil. The next part that is the stem. Where can you find the stem? The stem is above the soil. A plant can have hard stem or soft stem. If you compare a mango tree and a rose plant, the, tr the stem of a mango tree is hard. It has a hard stem. And what about the rose plant? It has a soft stem. So stem can be hard and soft. So can you say what is the function of this stem? This stem carries water and food to the plant. So the root sucks the water and nutrients from the soil and this stem carries water and food throughout the plant. Next one is the leaves. A plant has many leaves and most of the plants have green leaves and a plant has different types of leaves. If you see the leaf of a mango plant and the leaf of a rose plant. Does it look same? No. It has different leaves have different size and shape. So do you know what is the function of these leaves? Plants make food on the leaves and that process we call it as photosynthesis. So plants make food on the leaves. So plants have different types of leaves. So here you can see the picture of leaves. You can see the picture of a, the leaf of a papaya, then the leaf of lotus and banana. Does it look same? No. So different plants have different types of leaves. Moving on to the next part. The next part is the flower. It is the most colorful part in a plant is the flower. Most plants bear flowers and it has many colors. Some flowers are big, some flowers are small. Can you say an example for a big flower? Sunflower. There are flowers with nice smell like rose, jasmine. So now we can take page number 16 in your textbook. There you can see different flowers. You can see shoe flower. You can see the picture of shoe flower, jasmine, sunflower, marigold so there are different flowers and there are with different colors some are big and some are small the next part is the fruit so fruit is the most tastiest part on a stem do you all eat fruits so we all eat fruits so different plants have different kinds of fruits you can take page number 17 in your textbook you can see the pictures of different fruits. See the first one, apple. 
we get apple from apple tree. Then you can see the picture of mango. We get mango from mango tree. Papaya. We get papaya from the papaya tree. Then banana. Then next is chili. Chili is also a fruit. And we get chili from the chili plant. There are fruits such as tomato and lady's finger. They are called as vegetables. So fruit is the most tastiest thing on a stem. And there are different kinds of fruits. The next part is the seed. The seed hides inside a fruit. A fruit has one seed or many seeds. Can you say a fruit with just one seed? We can say mango. A fruit has one seed or many seeds. And from this seed, a new baby plant is born. When it gets air, water and soil, it grows into a new plant. So these are the different parts of a plant. Root, stem and the leaf. It helps the plant to get water, to make food and to grow. Next three parts, that is the flower, the fruit and the seed. It helps to grow a new plant. Now we can take page number 16 in your textbook. There, there are two questions. So let's see the first one. Are all leaves of the same size? So if you take page number 15, you can see the picture of different leaves. Are they all looking same? No. So are all leaves of the same size? No. So you can tick in the box, no. See the second one. Are all leaves of the same shape? See, this, see the leaves? Are all of them of the same shape? No. So you can tick in the box, no. See the next question. Are all flowers of the same color? You can see the picture of some flowers. So are they all looking with same color? No. So the answer is no. See the next one. Are all flowers of the same shape? Are all flowers with same shape? No. So the answer is no. Now page number 17. Page number 17, there is a question. Tick the correct option. So is chili a fruit? We learned that chili is a fruit. It grows in the chili plant. So what is the answer? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Chili is a fruit. An activity for you is you can draw and label your favorite plant. Draw the plant, label its parts. Which are the parts? Root, stem, leaves, flower, fruit. So you can label the parts of the plant. And where you have to do it? You can do this in your notebook. Draw the plant and label its parts. So I hope you have understood this chapter, the parts of a plant. So we'll meet in the next class. Till then, thank you.